Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a string program to accept a word and convert it into a Pig Latin form. So, Pig Latin is nothing but a way of writing English sentence in a way, uh, in an encrypted way, so that it uh, they can pass it as a secret message. So others won't when you, when they read it, they won't understand. Okay, so we will see how to convert this for a single word. Write a program in Java to accept a word and display same in Pig Latin form. Uh, sample input you can see trouble. Sample output you can say O U B L E T R A Y. So when you read this, you won't understand anything. So you see the description how to convert this. A word is converted into its Pig Latin form by using the following steps. Find the index of the first vowel. So here in the trouble you can see the index of first vowel is uh, the third character that is O. Okay. Obtain two substrings, so you have to use uh, two substrings, one, S1, say for example, uh, variable S1, by using the characters fr from the beginning till the index of the first uh, vowel, minus one, that means uh, you have to store the uh, uh, characters from the zero, first position, that is zeroth position, till the uh, vowel, and that is the character before the vowel, so TR alone, okay which will be stored in S1, okay, that is what it means. Other, that is another variable S2, by using the characters from the index of the vowel till the end of the string. So, from this O till the end of the string, which will be stored in S2, okay, that is the meaning. So, S1 as TR and S2 as O U B L E. okay. So, once you separate this, what has to be done? Find S3 equal to S2 plus S1 plus AY. So, the Pig Latin form has uh, been uh, achieved by uh, displaying the uh, word starting from the vowel and then add the previous characters to the end of the vowel and then add AY along with it. So, that is how you are getting Pig, Pig Latin form. So, you can see S2 which has the uh, uh, from the vowel till the end, S1 which has the uh, characters before the vowels and add it to the AY. So, once you add this, it will be stored in S3, so you are going to display. So, the resulting string S3 will be the Pig Latin form of the given string. So, you are going to see Java program in BlueJ how to solve this. So, before going to the program, you are going to dis uh, we are going to discuss about the algorithm. Uh, we already discussed what is that uh, Pig Latin form is. So, you will have, uh, you have to accept a sentence or sorry, here it is a word. Okay, you are going to do only for a word. So, accept a word in capital, find the length of the word, put it in a loop, extract the character. So, this is repeated, keep on repeating for all the uh, programs. After extracting the word, check for uh, the vowel because that is the key point. So, once you reach the vowel, you have to uh, take the first part, that is before the vowel separately and from the vowel till the end separately and immediately you have to stop because you are not going to continue beyond that. So, you should uh, stop. And then you are going to add all the two characters along with AY, uh, two variables along with AY and store it into the resultant variable and display. So, this is the algorithm. So, we will see what is done in the program. So, you got import java.util uh, scanner and then you got a class name pig latin and then uh, under public static void main I created an object for accepting the uh, tokens scanner object to accept the tokens. Then you can see that uh, you got two. Uh, uh, in fact, three, uh, four va string variables. One is str to get the input, that is original string. S1 to store the first part. S2 to store the second part. And S3 will be the resultant string, okay, along with AY. So, all that has to be de uh, defined with the default values, that is open and close double quotes. Now, you are going to display a message to enter the string in capital. Since it is a word, you are going to use only next, okay. And uh, immediately find the length. Okay, str dot length. You will find the length, and you are going to store it into length. That is integer type. Now you are going to use a loop statement. I n t f equal to, uh, i equal to zero. I lesser than length. I plus plus. So you are going to uh, execute it one by one till the end of the word. Take the character one by one. Okay, using the charret method. So str dot charret of i will take the character first character and store it in ch. Check the first character is over, well, right? And if it is not a vowel, uh, you are not going to execute this part, you are going to go to the next one. Next iteration, so you are going to check again, you are going to store the character into ch. Check whether it is a vowel. Suppose if it is a vowel, uh, whether that is how to find a vowel is, you are going to use 
you got five vowels, so you are going to use this uh, statement. Uh, ch equal to equal to a or that or means it can be any one of these vowels, right? So ch equal to e, ch equal to i, o, u. So any one of these characters, okay? If any one of these characters is met, then that means the condition is true, okay? That's the reason to write all the characters uh, separated by our operator. If any one of these characters occurs, then the condition is true. If it is true, what you are going to do? You are going to separate using substring. I think the first time you are going to use substring in programs. So S1 equal to str dot substring 0 comma i. So i value. Say for example in trouble, tr o. O will be the uh, uh, breaking point there because o is the oval. So it reaches here. Uh, here you can see the condition is true because ch equal to equal to o has been checked. So since it is true, it will take the, uh, extract the character from 0th position till the i minus 1 because m comma n minus 1, right? You got two variables. So it will be like m, m comma n minus 1. So i minus 1 will be the previous character. So tr will be taken and it will be stored in s1. Second uh, statement you can see s2 equal to str dot substring i. From the uh, vowel character, remaining that means from the uh, from the vowel character till the end of the uh, string will be extracted and it will be stored in s2 so you can see two variables has been is, is ready now now immediately you're going to break because you're not going to continue beyond that you may have uh, more uh, vowels in the string but what the question says first immediate vowel first vowel so when it reaches the first vowel itself you're going to separate two uh, variables and then uh, stop the Executions. So after the uh, break statement is executed, loop will be terminated, it will comes out, you can see the statement, S3 equal to, first you have to put S2, that is the second part, starting from the vowel, and then add it with S1, which is the uh, characters which is stored before the vowel, so S1 has the characters which, uh, which is before the vowel, and then finally add it with AY, okay, so after that you are going to display S3, so this is how uh, the program works, so you are going to compile this, so no errors, you are going to execute it. Now you are going to type the uh, word in capital. Okay, trouble. Press enter, you can see. Uh, this is a pig Latin form has been uh, displayed. Okay. So you can try out any other word. Okay, it will work only for the uh, uh, words, not for the sentence. Okay, if it is a sentence, then you have to use few more alterations but according to the question you are not going to uh, accept sentence you are going to only check for words alone so a single word program is over now you are going to you can check in different words you can try out in the uh, terminal window and check how the pig latin form will look like okay uh, hope you understood the program we will meet in the next video till then thank you